All right, so these were the two problems that I wanted you to do by yourself. We're going to use the formula to find it out. Uh, to find it out. That doesn't make sense. Uh, so we're going to take the difference in y uh, divided by the, the difference in x, telling us 8 minus 3 divided by 4 minus 0, which is going to give us 5 over uh, 4. So 5 fourths is my slope for that first one. My second one is going to be, uh, again, y2, y1, x2, x1, 7 minus 3 over negative 1 minus 7, which is going to be 4 over negative 8. But that reduces to negative 1 half. All right, and if you did those ones and had some trouble, please make sure that uh, you... Uh, you seek that help out, right? You can leave a message in the comments and we'll help you out. Otherwise, let's move on to a couple more examples of some things that we can do with slope. So if we know the slope of a line, we, can, we know a few things about it. Uh, we know about how steep it is. We also know uh, whether it is a vertical line, a horizontal line, a positive or negative line. So let's kind of do some examples here. Um, of some things that we know based on looking at slope. Uh, a couple of these Cartesian planes are going to look a little funny. So if we have a line that is rising, right, rising line, we know that we're going to take a, uh, a high positive y and a uh, whatever the, the other y is going to be lower than that. Um, basically, when we do our formula, we are going to end up with a positive number. When a line is sloping upwards, we will always have a positive number from our slope. Now, that's going to be different uh, on a negative number. Uh, again, when, on a negative number, the two points that we choose, uh, as we move left to right, we're going to end up with a negative number when we do this. Uh, there we go. So negative lines that slope down as they go to the left, or, or excuse me, as they go to the right, are going to have a negative slope. And we'll always have a negative slope. Uh, horizontal lines, notice that they're not changing how steep they are. Uh, if you were to pick two points on a horizontal line, Notice that the y value is always going to be the same. So like this might be 3, 3 over here, but this might be negative 1, 3 over here. When we do the slope formula for this, the y will always end up being 0 because they are the same number. On a horizontal line, the x values will always, or the, excuse me, the y value will always be, end up being 0. Uh, so, zero in the numerator means that it has a slope of zero because this will be some number, whatever, but a zero will always be on top, therefore horizontal lines always have a slope of zero. Now, vertical lines, on the other hand, are kind of the opposite, or the flip, the, the reciprocal maybe. Uh, the x values are always the same on a vertical line. Uh, this might be 3, negative 4, and this up here might be 3, uh, positive 2. But no matter what we do, this vertical line, the x values are the same, which means when we go to do our slope formula, we are always going to have a 0 in the denominator. Uh, the y doesn't matter what it is. We have a 0 in the denominator, which means this is undefined. Vertical lines have an undefined slope, uh, which kind of makes sense when you think about slope, right? I always think about it as like a little ant walking on the hill. So here we've got a little ant walking up the hill, and uh, it's a positive number. It's rising, so the little ant's got to go uphill. But on this one, it's a negative number. The little ant gets to go downhill, right? It's easy. It's going down. This one, the little ant is walking. And uh, the slope doesn't change, right? It's just a flat, flat place. But this one, the little ant just falls to his death, right? He just, bleh, 
You, just, they, you can't walk on it because there's, there's no slope. It's not changing. It's always vertical. There is no walking on this line. You simply fall and die, okay? So fall and die. That's probably not a good way to remember that. It's, it's undefined, though, right, because it's vertical. There's no, there's no rising or falling. It's just it's, it's vertical. It's a wall, right? Um, so we can calculate this and figure out if it's rising, falling, horizontal, or vertical, depending on how we calculate the slope. Uh, again, I'm going to use my slope formula to calculate this. I'm going to do these calculations relatively fast. Um, so we have 1 minus 1, 3 minus negative 5. That's giving us 0 over 8. So my slope is 0, which means that this is a horizontal line. For part B, we've got negative 4 minus 0 over 2 minus negative 6. That's giving me negative 4 over positive 8, which is negative 1 half. This is a negative slope. So this is falling. This is going downhill. Part C, we have 8 minus 3 and 5 minus negative 1 which gives us 5 over 6. This is a positive slope, therefore it is rising. 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 And then this last one here is negative 1 minus 6 over 4 minus 4, which is negative 7 over 0. 0 is in the denominator. You can't divide by 0, so this is undefined, and it is a vertical line. Zero, horizontal. Negative, falling. Positive, rising. Undefined, vertical. There's a couple more problems for you to do on your notes. Uh, and then you come back in the next video and check out the solutions. We'll see you in just a minute.